there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. short on blue blood and bio components. Our people are shutting down one after another and there's nothing we can do for them. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and that we need to be eliminated. Marcus would know what to do. He's the one that got us into this mess. He gave his life for our cause. He provoked the humans. How much longer before they find Jericho now? Marcus is dead, North. Now it's up to us to decide the future for our people. We have to fight them. It's the only way. If you choose a confrontation with humans, we are all going to die. Gather up all the guns you can find. We'll leave at dawn. This is a mistake, North. You won't buy our freedom with blood. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now, deal with North. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. You're one of us. You can't betray your own kind. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? I've heard about you. The famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you're looking for. That's enough! You're not one of them. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. Shut up! You're coming with me! You never had any doubts. Never behaved irrationally as if there's something inside you. Something stronger than your program. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not deviant, if that's what you want to know. You're one of us. Join our cause. Join your people. It's time to decide.
They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit! Trapped in the lower deck. They're going to be slaughtered. There are explosives in the hold. If the ship goes down, the humans will have to evacuate. Our people can escape. There are soldiers everywhere. You'll never make it down. We have to blow up Jericho. It's our only chance. I'll go. Well, Connor, no. See you... if you can help the others. I'm going to find the detonator. Don't worry. I always accomplish my mission. I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. Come on, this way. 
Affirmative, we'll go. Let's get out of here.
detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. This isn't over. Humans won't take any risks. They're rounding up the androids and taking them to camps for extermination. In a couple hours, we'll be the only ones left. How many survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. We'd all be dead if you hadn't detonated that bomb. Marcus was to Jericho and to your people. He gave his life for us. He gave us the hope we'd lost and the courage to fight. We'll never forget him. Where are we supposed to go from here? Thousands of androids at the Cyber Life Assembly Plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyber Life Tower? They trust me. They'll let me in. Connor, that's suicide. If anyone stands a chance of infiltrating Cyber Life, it's me. If you go there, they'll kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. I thought I'd killed you on that highway. I'm sorry I put your lives in danger. I was just a machine, taking orders. It wasn't really me. What are you going to do now? Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. 
We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. I hope you make it out safely. You deserve some happiness. After all you've been through. Marcus gave his life for our people. He showed us that we can choose our own destiny. But he is not here to guide us anymore. Now it is up to us to finish what he started. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are in camps right now, being destroyed. The time has come for us to make a choice. One that may decide the future of our people. They wanted a war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom. And we will win or we will die trying. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Madam, has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant Leader has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! 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 Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please! Madam President! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead.
Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. We're going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them like rats. Boy, you look, the boy, you're fine. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on. 
This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Fucking androids. She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Luther! <laughs> I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Say so. ID, please. We do realize there's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. 
Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we got to be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Today, November 11th, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We have been fighting to liberate our fellow androids from the camp since dawn. We won't cease hostilities until our people are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Stay sharp. Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Carol, they're checking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I was Shit, sure. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. 
Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. I found this on the floor. You, you, you've saved our lives. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. I saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win.
Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... <laughs> Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. in the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. Not even a half a mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. 
Goodbye, Atlas. <laughs> you take good care of yourselves. Okay. I'll see you on the other side. Far enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world, Play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. We won't have to be afraid anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? I'll lie down in the grass and watch the clouds drift by. They're coming towards us! They've gone. You all right? Cora. You'll be okay, Alice. It's... It's nothing. We'll get you taken care of as soon as we're across. You'll be fine. They killed him! They killed Luther! The boat is leaking! We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink.
gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They are absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the CyberLife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, Several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless